Hi, my name's Jim Skaysbrook, editor of Old Bike Australasia magazine. As well as having a keen interest in classic and historic bikes, many of our magazine readers have at least one modern bike, usually several. That's why, almost from the start of the magazine ten years ago, we introduced a regular segment called Suitable Partners, new bikes that make suitable partners to any classic collection. We judge the criteria on what mature age motorcyclists want in a bike, so we generally leave out the rocket ship sports bikes, but there's still plenty to choose from. These days we're positively spoiled for choice when it comes to practical, reliable bikes. Bikes you can literally jump on and ride to anywhere, including around the city. The latest of our suitable partners is the Royal Enfield Continental GT. Not the buzzy little 250 from the 60s that the rockers love to blast around on, but a totally new concept that marries a British made chassis with a completely revamped version of the famous Royal Enfield Big Single. It's punched out to 535cc's and hitched to a really sweet 5 speed gearbox. The suspension and brakes are conventional, but they work extremely well. The bike is right in the paddock of the illustrious British sports bike singles like the BSA Gold Star and the Velocet Thruxton, except that with modern methods and materials, it's probably a better bike than both. It's such fun to ride. Just like all good British singles, it goes around corners like it's on rails, and that engine has stacks of torque with a wonderful power curve, thanks to the modern electronic fuel injection. But as you can see, it's the styling that sets the GT apart. This one's straight from the London Ace Cafe. You've got the clip-on handlebars from the Gold Star days, except these are sensibly raised a little bit to save your back and your neck. You've got rear set footrests, gear lever and rear brake, and of course the sculptured fuel tank that made its uh, 250cc predecessor such a standout. The fuel tank certainly looks good, but for me these knee recesses uh, not quite right because my knees hit the edges of the tank rather than sit in where they're meant to in the uh, recesses beside them. But that's a minor point and as a package you'd be hard pressed to find a motorcycle that has more fun per kilo than the Royal Enfield Continental GT. And you'll find a full test in our upcoming issue number 61 of Old Bike Australasia magazine on sale September 29. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more bikes that would look very nice in your garage or mine.